Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm coming to you, Team Shadow Strike, and this is going to be a video um, that I'm kind of I'm gonna kind of do multiple things. Um, I recently um, did a video um, where I showed you combos with Aqua Force. Well, I had a video request from someone called Mousing. Mousing isn't that the name of a machine gun? Isn't there something called a Mousing machine gun, or is that just in my head? Um, and he asked, he or she, I don't know which that'd be, um, was asking me to make a video on budget deck building. Now, this video is going to be kind of like budget deck building and also kind of a Gear Chronicle discussion. Because one thing I said to you guys is I wasn't sure if I was going to continue with Gear Chronicle. And... That was the truth when I said it, but I think I might stick with it for a while just to mess around with it because um, running out of ideas to try, so maybe I'll give this a shot. Um, even though I will be building, um, some people have been asking me what decks out of set four that I will be building. I will be updating Royal Paladins. Um, I'm going to be building the new Genesis variant, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, you will see a Mega Colony deck profile on my channel from Sam. Um, um, I'll get a Neo Nectar deck profile from you guys. There's someone at my locals named Phil, and he's pretty pretty good with the deck. So, um, actually, he's the only Neo Nectar player I've ever seen. Second Neo Nectar player I've ever seen that knows how to play it right, which would be Phil and Ryan. Um, so I will get a uh, Neo Nectar deck profile for you guys, um, and then. Uh, I will more than likely be doing an update on this eventually, because now we finally know what Chronojet Next Stage does. Now, <clears throat> I have a, I had it here so I could read it word for word. So if you haven't seen Next Stage, that's what he looks like. But I'm pretty sure anybody who watches the anime has seen it. But his ability is generation break two so now we're seeing g units with the g break um restraint uh g break uh boundary so or restraint what i whatever you know what i mean we're seeing g units that have the g break limitation there we go um on them so now you have to stride at least twice before you get to use this card um but chronojet next stage gives gear chronicle they needed something they really needed um, and it was something that was completely different, and it's basically a restanding Vanguard. Um, Generation Break 2. Counter Blast 1. Choose a face-down card named Chrono Dragon next stage from your G-Zone. Turn it face up. Choose three cards from your hand and discard them. Now, I did kind of shudder a little bit when I read that alone, because this is a Generation Rare. Uh, this is the first generation rare that, um, has to persona flip. So, and generation rares are normally pretty expensive. Now, I know this sounds weird, but first let me finish reading this. Chrono Dragon, uh, uh, and discard three units from your hand. So you're going to counter blast one, persona flip a next stage, and you're going to ditch three. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked a Vanguard, if you have a heart card with Chronojet Dragon, so Chronojet must be your Vanguard, in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, put this unit into your G-Zone face-up, choose your Vanguard, and stand it. So basically what this is going to do is you're going to attack with Next Stage. If you pay the cost, you're going to take your Next Stage, put it back in the G-Zone, and your Chronojet will stand back up. Which also means at this point, Chronojet Dragon's Glory skill is going to be in effect as well. So you're going to get a triple drive, and then you're going to get a glory twin drive. That is huge for Gear Chronicle. On top of this, they're also getting access to a grade 3 that will be good for budget Gear Chronicle decks and your main Gear Chronicle decks. And it is... What is his name? Um... Steam Fighter Bailiff, I think is his name, if I'm remembering correctly. But he is something that Gear Chronicle desperately needed. And his and it's his... I'm just going to read his stride skill, because that's pretty much the only thing that's uh, me worth mentioning. Um, uh, During your turn, when your G-Unit strides, choose one of your vanguards, and until the end of the turn, it gets 
Act ability Vanguard once a turn. Counter Blast 1. Search your deck for up to one card named Chrono Jet Dragon. Put it in your heart state on your Vanguard and shuffle your deck. If you put that card, choose a card named Steam Fighter Bailiff in your heart state from your Vanguard and put it at the bottom of your deck. So what this does is if you ride Bailiff before Chrono Jet, even though generally most times in a Gear Chronicle deck you want to be on Chrono Jet, this gives you a way to get into Chrono Jet. All you have to do is ride Bailiff, stride, counter blast one, and they basically swap. Um, so now Gear Chronicle has a way to tutor into Chrono Jet real easy, and this is huge for them because it's what they needed. Because generally with Gear Chronicle decks before this card got announced, and well still now because it hasn't come out yet, is because um, Chrono Jet must be the vanguard in Gear Chronicle decks for them to succeed. That's why a lot of Gear Chronicle players, you see them playing four copies of Steam Breath because when they get their other grade three, they want to call Steam Breath pitch it, and immediately grab Chrono Jet. Because up until now, the only other Grade 3s we've had for Gear Chronicle is the two Legions, Colossus, and some Fate Wheel. And then there was another one. But they didn't have a clear-running front-runner to even come close to Chrono Jet, except maybe your second best option to me is Nixie, because he also has a glory skill. But... You never want anything else on your Vanguard except Chrono Jet. Now, um, we're, you know, those two cards alone make Gear Chronicle better. Now, let me show you some things down here. Okay. Down here. Um, your G Zone for Gear Chronicle is different because. You now have access, you have access to so many G units for Gear Chronicle, and that's why some players really like them. Right now, this is what mine looks like. I play one Timepiece, one Fate Rider, one Upheaval, one Kronos Command, and then the four Ragnas. But if you really wanted to um, do this the right way, two of these are going to become next stage when I get two of them. This is either going to become another. Fate Rider or Upheaval? More than likely a Fate Rider. Um, um, I really think that is going to be the best way to build Gear Chronicle, in my opinion. Fortunately, for those of you who play Gear Chronicle, who wanted Ragnas but couldn't spend the $30 on them when he was so high, he has gone down to about $15 and even a little lower. So if now is the good a good time to pick up Ragnas, but what the Fighters Collection did, these two cards right here, guys, are two of the best G units Gear Chronicle has, and they're both dirt cheap. Fate Rider is a triple rare out of set three, or set three? No, set two. Out of set two, and it is very good because it gives Gear Chronicle tutoring power, which is really good. And Upheaval came out of Fighter's Collection, and this card is absolutely stupid because he has no cost except having Chrono Jet as your vanguard. It puts all your opponent's rear guards on the bottom of their deck, and they have to draw the same number of cards that they put on the bottom of the deck and call those units to the field, and that is hurtful. So um, if you can't afford... Ragnas. I'm going to assume you can't afford Next Age either. These three right here alone, you can build a stride deck out of. I'm serious. You literally can have one to two of this, one to two of this, four of this, three of this, you know, any variation of these three cards, and you can do good. Here's why. What Gear Chronicle is good at is just simply having um, ways to mess with the board. Let's say we just stride. Let's say our field looks something like this. For the starter, I like using Gearhawk. Let me show you why. Let's say let's say we're playing against Aqua Force just for the lulls. Let's. I like to get a field that looks like this. Exactly like that in my back row. Um, and 
and then let's say looks something like that. Okay. Stride. Say your opponent has four units. He gets 5,000 power every single time you rewind a unit. So, if you rewind four units, that's 20,000 power. He'll gain 3,000 for every card, so that's 12. So this becomes 24, this becomes 19. It would also kick her skill off if she's already on the board. You could then also trigger his ability to Soul Blast, if you have another card in the Soul, and unflip a damage. And then you can go... Actually, it would probably look better like that. Because if we activated her skill, now she's active. With a big boost. So this is a 19k booster with a 9. So this is a 27k column. Attack the Vanguard for 16. We're going to use his skill to rewind one of the units that was brought out by this. Just if he brought out one you still don't want him to have, put it back. Plus 5, plus 3. So that means he's been present now for 5 rewinds if we reround 4 to begin with and we reround one of the 4 that he called because of Upheaval's effect. So he's now a 29k booster for 26. Even if your opponent nullifies this, eventually they're going to run out and they will not be able to block that. Um, then, let's say they nullify it. And let's say you check the triple drive and you just get some kind of insane luck and get that. Three critical triggers. Everything here. Since he's been now present for five rewinds, he gets 15. So he's a 22k booster. 22 plus 9 alone is 31. Let's say we get just let's say we just get two triggers. Let's be a little realistic, I guess. This alone would then be pushed to 14. 14 and uh 22. That'd be 36. And your opponent can't use great zeros because she's silent Tom. If you rewind a unit and counter blast one and she has resist. That Things like that is what is what Gear Chronicle is now good. Is Gear Chronicle now that they have Next Age, it gives them another very another uh, powerhouse unit. But to be real honest, guys, these three units alone, these three G units alone give, uh, and actually even just these two make the deck consistent because you can use. Fate Rider for free, and him for free. So you could, both of these units for free. Actually, all three of these for free because you can use uh, Chrono Jet's ability to um, when you stride into him to rewind something. I don't know why you do it if you go into him, but um, you can just do things and your opponent's field is just going to become weird and they're going to have to work with it. So, Gear Chronicle in my opinion is now with um, Steam Fighter Bailiff alone, Gear Chronicles, if you guys remember when I very first started messing with Gear Chronicle, I said it may not be good as it will be in the future because it's a main character's clan. It's going to get stupid cards. Next stage is stupid. So let's, for instance, just say this is next stage, okay? Let's say this is next stage. And we stride. We counterblast one. We're going to persona flip, and we're going to ditch three. Okay. Um, Chrono Jet Dragon skill. Counterblast and um, rewind something. Then use her skill to counterblast something. Unflip something if we want. Um, so then plus five, plus three, um, and then we're going to swing at our opponent for twenty six. They can guard it or not. After that. Stand, Chrono Dra Dragon, next stage, returns to the G-Zone, and now he stands. Then you can go 16, rewind something else. 16 plus 14 is 30 with Glory Skill, plus any triggers this may have from next stage check. 
then you go over to here. It's things like that that now make Gear Chronicles something that is actually going to be pretty good out there in the meta. And the reason I like this card now is because is because of all the different ways of versatility plays you can make with him and just make him a huge ass booster. Um, but that is just me. So, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it, because in all honesty, for budget Gear Chronicle, your Grade 3s is going to be 4 Chrono Jet, and you're going to play 4 Bailiff, of that new, and it's a rare from Set 4. Um, that way, when you stride, you could just immediately switch into Chrono Jet. Um, and for your G units, these three, for budget players, are your best friends, because all three of these cards are dirt cheap. Um, he's dirt cheap now, but you really don't use him that much anymore since we have upheaval. Even if you can just get a hold of two of these, that's good, because at least then it gives you one, and then you can fill in the blank spaces with others. Um, so honestly, guys, Gear Chronicle is a really good budget choice. Royal Paladin is another one, because Royal Paladin you can kind of go crazy with. Um... But budget building can be successful. You just have to look at ways that still give you big numbers and um, can still be effective. It's really just kind of you have to research and do a little bit of work. Um, I can't really give you a prime example, in, you know, unless I were to build it. So if you guys would like to see an example of, like, say, Budget Gear Chronicle or Budget Anything, let me know, and maybe then I can expand on that a little bit more. But I hope I at least um, was able to help you guys somewhat with this. So if you guys did like this video, please let me know. Um, if you guys would like to see Budget Variants, please tell me, and maybe I can find figure something out and uh, uh, try something. So anyway, guys, um, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you would like to see budget deck profiles, please tell me. If you want to continue for me to do, uh, continue to see me do combo videos, please ask and I'll be happy to do it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, leave a comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you next time.